ASML makes complex lithography equipment that is needed to produce the world's most advanced microchips. A technical error saw the company's earnings leaked last week and the stock dropped around 16%. At the latest price, ASML now has a market cap of 259 billion euros. With 7 billion of cash and 4.6 billion of debt, the enterprise value is 256 billion. Revenue over the last 12 months comes to 26.2 billion euros with 6.9 billion of net income and 2.9 billion of free cash flow so asml stock is now valued at 38 times earnings and 89 times free cash flow those multiples may sound expensive but it's worth remembering that the semiconductor industry is currently going through a slow patch the mobile pc and automotive sectors are experiencing slow demand thanks to macro pressures and higher interest rates and asml's free cash flow is low right now due to an investment cycle that will help the company prepare for better years ahead. The company is investing in existing EUV technology as well as more advanced hypernumerical aperture systems. ASML stock came under pressure last week because the company said 2025 revenue would come in at the bottom of its 30 to 35 billion range. Gross margin was weak and the company's backlog dropped from 38 billion euros to 36 billion. Geopolitical concerns add to the uncertainty as the company is unable to export its most advanced technologies to China. But although ASML stock has taken a hit, it's important to put recent events in perspective. In this case, lower guidance doesn't mean lost revenue. It simply means bookings are being pushed out to 2026 instead of 2025. Longer term, this is still a monopoly business whose products are crucial for the global economy. PC and mobile sales should recover, while global trends like electrification, energy transition and AI have years of strong growth ahead. Head. The AI boom is still in its early stages when it comes to the impact it's having on ASML's order book. So ASML's long-term story hasn't changed that much. The company has not yet deviated from the targets it set out in 2022, which anticipated 44 to 60 billion euros of revenue by 2030 and 56 to 60 percent gross margins. Crucially, that margin expansion should trickle down to free cash flow margins, helping to improve the long-term investment case. For example, for example, if you assume ASML can grow top line revenue at 14% per year for the next 10 years while getting its free cash flow margin up to 27% by 2030, that would result in roughly $85 billion of free cash flow generated over 10 years. That's roughly in line with company targets and a discounted cash flow model works out to an investment return of around 9.1%. That may not be a spectacular return and geopolitical risk is worrying but investors often pay more for dominant monopoly businesses. As a result, ASML stock should remain a solid bet. But these are my personal opinions, not financial advice, and I do hold some shares in ASML. For more investing videos, make sure to visit my website at freeminutebreakdowns.com. Thank you for watching.